The enormous toroidal plasma device ETPD is an experimental physics device housed at the Basic Plasma Science Facility at UCLA. It previously operated as the Electric Tokamak ET between 1999 and 2006 and was noted for being the world's largest tokamak before being decommissioned due to the lack of support and funding. The machine was renamed to ETPD in 2009. At present, the machine is undergoing upgrades to be repurposed into a general laboratory for experimental plasma physics research. Topic: As the electric tokamak. The electric tokamak ET was the last of a series of small tokamak machines built in 1998 under the direction of principal investigator and designer Robert Taylor, a UCLA professor. The machine was designed to be a low-field magnetic confinement fusion device with a large aspect ratio. It is composed of 16 vacuum chambers made of 1-inch thick steel, with a major radius of 5 meters and a minor radius of 1 meter. The ET was the largest tokamak ever built at its time, with a vacuum vessel slightly bigger than that of the joint European Taurus. The first plasma was achieved in January 1999. The ET is capable of producing a plasma current of 45 kA and can produce a core electron plasma temperature of 300 electron volts. Four sets of independent coils are necessary for O ohmic heating, current drive, vertical equilibrium field, plasma elongation and plasma shaping D or reverse D. The O system provides 10 volts S using a 10 kA power supply. Up to 0.1 T of vertical field can be applied for horizontal control and this is more than sufficient for all plasma configurations, including high beta. An additional set of coils provide a small horizontal field to correct for error field and to stabilize the plasma vertically. All the coils are located outside the vessel and are constructed out of aluminium. A Rogovsky probe outside the vessel and sets of Hall probes inside the vessel are used to monitor plasma current, position and shaping and are used in the control feedback loop. The poloidal system was designed using an in-house equilibrium code as well as a variety of other codes in order to cross-check computations and to assess the stability of the resulting plasma. Like most tokamaks, the machine uses a combination of RF heating and neutral beam injection to drive and shape the plasma. Topic: <laughs> Decommission in 2006. In 2006, the ET had run out of funding and was decommissioned following the retirement of Taylor. Factors leading to loss of funding are attributed to the lack of extensive plasma diagnostics, its large size, and its place in the politics of fusion. When it was operating, the ET was funded mostly by the Department of Energy DOE. Topic as the enormous toroidal plasma device in 2009, the electric tokamak ET was renamed to the enormous toroidal plasma device ETPD and was repurposed for basic plasma research. A lanthanium hexaboride Lab 6 plasma source was developed for the ETPD similar to the one used in the large plasma device, and is capable of producing a long column of magnetized plasma approximately 100 meters that winds itself multiple times along the toroidal axis of the machine. The plasma column was shown to be current free and terminates on the neutral gas within the chamber without touching the machine walls. The typical operational parameters of the ETPD are density, N3 times 1013 cm 3 electron temperature, 5 electron volts ion temperature, 1 electron volt background field, B equals 250 Gauss 25 Mt plasma beta, beta approximately 1. The ETPD is currently in the process of being upgraded, i.e., larger sources, better diagnostic capabilities to support a wide range of plasma physics experiments. See also Large plasma device, a linear plasma device housed in the same facility as the ETPD.